Rush people, this is Stewie Griffin, and I'm here to let you know that because I'm not allowed in the rally this year due to the fact that I kept soiling my pants in the nightclubs and, well, Miss Amy Shackelford simply refused to ever clean up my messes again, that you all need to watch out. Plus, I kind of lost my booster seat, which, as you can imagine, makes it very difficult for an infant to see over a steering wheel. But no matter, my presence, while not physical, shall take an emotional toll on you all. You see, my good friend Goldfingers informed me of the little pranks you've been pulling on him. And let me tell you, you've made a powerful enemy. When Stewie Griffin enters a prank war, it doesn't stop until everyone else is dead and the world is mine! How, you ask? Well, it's simple. I've been observing all of you for weeks now. And I don't just know your names, I know your weaknesses. Romine... You think that because you started this little boxcar rally that you're safe from my wrath? Think again. I watched last year as you refused to let participants stop off in those quaint little towns and meet new people. Well, if I were you, I'd keep an eye out in those small towns this year, and not just for locals. Look, I'm not saying you're definitely going to be kidnapped and forced to spend the rest of your life in a one-horse town. I'm just saying it's possible. There's people you can pay to do that these days. Oh, and that one horse, he's male, he's lonely, and he's very horny. <laughs> Speaking of lonely and horny, Dan Darvish, is it? Mm, you needn't answer. I know it is. Dan, let me tell you a little something. If you and your significant other, Sam Zaman, are going to keep putting sex toys in people's cars, could you at least refrain from using them on one another before you do? Or at least give them a courtesy rinse, for God's sake. If I'm going to get in my car and find a 14-inch reproduction of Channing Tatum's schlong in the passenger seat, at the very least I'd appreciate it if it didn't smell like Darvish's butthole. Oh, and, um, quick note for both of you. Did you know those things can be rigged to explode under pressure? Mm. Food for thought. Of course, if we're talking about couples, we can't forget about Scott Ashry and Marnie Everline. Ah, yes, the old will-they-or-won't-they they couple of the century. You know, Scott, you just thought you were the cat's pyjamas last year when you told everyone it was Goldfinger's 85th birthday, didn't you? Hmm? 85 years, right? So, about the same time you've put off proposing to Marnie. <laughs> no, listen, it was clever. It really was. I mean, maybe next time you get pulled over in Malibu, Goldfinger has the sheriff give you a roadside cavity search and finds an engagement ring up there. Can't smell worse than Darvish's sex toys. Oh, and, uh, while we're on the topic of offensive odours, you know, Sheena Monk, I'm still not sure Goldfinger's been able to wash the stench of stripper and sour bosom milk off of himself from the Ritz-Carlton incident. Ugh, it reminds me of Lois on a Saturday night. Make no mistake, though, Sheena, I shall not show you the mercy I've shown her. Your defeat will be swift, and it will not be enjoyable. Let's just say that when I'm through with you, stripping will be the only viable occupation left for the likes of you. And not for good kind. I hope you like donkeys, Sheena. And as for you, George Secunian, did you actually toilet paper Goldfinger's Ferrari? Really? You TP'd it? Been, uh, TPing things, what, since, uh, third grade? We in third grade again, George? Hmm? Gonna maybe, uh, egg his rolls this time, uh... Maybe leave a tack on the driver's seat, like in third grade? Maybe draw penis on the chalkboard? Pass a note to Goldfinger asking him to check a box whether he likes you or not? Uh, like we're back in third grade? No, seriously. You can do better, George. I'm not even going to get you back for the TPing. My revenge is simply to ask you to do better next time. And as we all know, that time is rapidly approaching. Listen... I don't have time to individually address 160 different participants and explain to each one my elaborate plots for revenge, but you're getting the point. So, mostly, I'd just like to wish you all good luck. You're all going to need it. Ta-ta! Roadhouse. <laughs>